guys, it's Mel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday here and I've been sitting here reflecting on the week that was because it's the first week of January. This was my first week back at work and I set some goals this year to make sure I was working harder and being more productive and this first week I have come out strong. <laughs> so I know when it's a brand new year it always seems easier like we've got this clean slate above us we come out we've got these big goals the problem is we start off with all these good intentions and then over the time <laughs> we we come out hard and strong and then we get and we come down. Now for this week I've been really pushing hard on doing my listings and it really got me thinking, why aren't resellers actually obsessed with listing? <laughs> because when you think about it, when we list more, we get more sales. When we list, we make more money. Yet for some reason, as resellers, we get so distracted with doing other parts of our jobs. We might be the type of person who loves to go and thrift, but at the same time, we've got all this death pile sitting in our garages or our workrooms that's just sitting there while we're out thrifting more. We can't make money on the stuff that's just sitting there. If we're going out to buy more, we're just spending more money instead of making more money. If you go to the thrift shop for three hours, instead of sitting down at the computer to list for three hours, well, you're out there spending money instead of possibly getting up another 60 odd listings in your store. So it got me thinking like, why aren't we obsessed? Like we all are doing this job to make money, to make a living, whether or not we are doing it as a side hustle where we want to earn a little bit extra for a holiday, whether or not this is our full-time job and supporting us in some way. We all need different levels of money to make, but at the end of the day, most of us are doing this to make money, not just for fun. We don't need the money. Why aren't we obsessed? Like, why do we spend such a small chunk of our day as resellers doing the actual listing part that's gonna make us the money? I'm guilty of this. Last year, there was days where I did not list. I've been inconsistent. I don't know, like I was thinking back on it. Why didn't I list? Because this week I have listed over 400 items from Monday to Saturday, 400 items. So my goal was to get 200 new listings into my store this week and I've doubled it with 400 listings. And I don't even feel like it was hard. I've been full of energy. I don't know if it's because I'm high on motivation and <laughs> inspiration at the moment. So how come this week I've managed to do 400 listings and there's other weeks where I'm lucky to get 50 listings up in an entire week. It doesn't really make sense. The only thing I can put it down to is it comes down to prioritizing what is the most important. You know that old saying, eat the frog? <laughs> Get the worst task out of the way every single day. But really, is listing the worst task that we have? This week, I have been listing like a crazy woman. I really have. And guys, don't worry, I'm not feeling burnt out in any way. I've been eating so healthy. I've been drinking my water. I do not feel tired in any way. If I feel tired, I will listen to my body. I did not need to do 400 listings. I only really needed to do the 200 that was my goal for the week. 200 listings is still like 30 listings a day, which is pretty good. But I've smashed it with 400 and I still feel like I'm fine. I don't know. Like this has got me thinking. Is it because I've made it a priority the very first thing that I'm doing every single morning after I get up, grab a cup of coffee and I'm sitting here and I'm listing, 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 listing. I do not leave this chair for an hour and a half until I've done at least an hour and a half of listing. I list around 25 to 30 items in an hour. So doing an hour and a half, I'm getting like 40, my 40 odd listings done easily in an hour and a half. So then later on, if I've got another hour, it's really quite easy for me to get to a 60 listings a day if I really wanted to. And not every day is going to go like this. You know, once my kids go back to school, I've got school drop-offs and things might change. I do have that extra burst of motivation inside me at the moment. So over the last month, my sales, very average in December, really quite low to be frank. I was listing 15 items a day up until the 23rd of December. Then I didn't list anything for the whole rest of the month until I started on Monday. So my sales were just dribbling along. Yesterday I had a record day that I've had in months. I did a $700 day. Now I haven't had a day that big in ages because I haven't been giving it that much love. Sales yesterday, it was like cha-ching, cha-ching. I think there was 22 sales or something. So it was just like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching all day. And it just got me feeling so motivated, like hearing that and seeing the sales go up and up and up 
It made me want to keep listing more. Why aren't we actually obsessed with listing? It's actually so motivating to see those sales come in. And is it the fact that we sometimes don't see those sales come in, so then we lose that motivation? Because it's kind of like, what do you mean? I've been giving you all this love eBay and you're not returning it. The last couple of days I've seen my sales spike. I don't want a $700 day every now and then. Damn, I want a $700 day every single freaking day. <laughs> Bring it on eBay, I want that. It's got me pondering. Why is the one thing that we make money off the thing that we put off? So the old mill, <laughs> the old mill. Let's see if I can keep up with the new mill. Last year, I used to go out in the morning and I'd do all my daily things. What I was, I'd go thrifting, I'd take my kids to school, I'd go get coffee, I'd procrastinate come back, I'd sit around trying to make a video, go back out, do all my shipping, I'd go drop the shipping off, it's hot, I'd be sweating, I'd come back and I'd be like, oh, I'm tired, I'm so tired now that I don't feel like listing. And that is the biggest problem we have, we don't feel like listing. I don't think anybody's ever said, oh, I feel like listing. <laughs> because it's the boringest, most tedious job that we have. However, when you get up in the morning and it's the first thing you do and it becomes a habit, it's so much easier than trying to fit it into a day after you've done a million other tasks and your brain is full of all the other things that are going on or that you've got to do or that are coming up and all the appointments that you've got. You do that listing first thing before your brain even kind of kicks on and does anything. It's so much easier to focus. Every single morning this week, I have been laser focused, absolutely laser focused on doing that listing. I am not getting distracted by anything. I'm just... Bam. And that hour, it actually goes really quite fast. Like when you are laser focused on a task, I'll look up and look at the time and I'll be like, whoa, that hour's already gone. And then I feel so good. I've smashed out all these listings and I'm feeling so productive that then it makes me more productive for the whole rest of the day because I know that that most important task has already been done. I don't have to feel guilty then that I haven't done that listing. Oh, I don't know. This week has been an eye-opener for me. This week, I have done more work than I have in, I can't even tell you. This week, I actually feel like I worked as a reseller. This week, I actually feel like if I was working for a boss, I wouldn't have been sacked. <laughs> all the other weeks, I think I would have been sacked. And when you're actually busy and you're doing all the stuff that you're supposed to do, maybe that's where we get our motivation from. Give me a few weeks, I might be talking a totally different story. <laughs> I know, I'm going to be honest with you this whole way along. Like, if I'm not feeling it, I'm going to tell you when I'm not feeling it. Just got so much going around my head in terms of why. Why aren't I obsessed more with this listing? We shouldn't be obsessed with going thrifting. I, I do get that it's fun. We also obsess over all these little things, like things that are going on in the Facebook groups. Somebody sending me a lowball offer, and then that takes 10 minutes of our mental space each day because we're Frankie that somebody sent us like a lowball offer. Who cares? Just counter it back and move on with the day and keep listing. <laughs> it's so hard being self-employed. It's so hard to motivate yourself. So this year, guys, it's all about prioritizing. I want you guys to do it as well. I don't care if you only want to list five listings a day. See if you do five for a day. And I bet once you've done that five, if you're in that zone, that five will become 10. And then soon that 10 will become 15 and you'll start getting faster and faster and faster. And the more you do, the faster you get and the more you've got listed, the more money you can make. It's actually exciting. I'm so excited to see how much growth I'm going to have this year. Let's be honest, I'm not going to maintain this energy level. Nobody can maintain a high energy level all the time. Like you just can't. And I definitely am feeling high energy at the moment. But oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see what I can do. I don't want to focus on anything really negative at the moment. I don't want to talk about negative things. I don't want to listen to negative people. I want to surround myself with positive people that are hustling. And um, let's get it.